Okay, welcome my friends to this tutorial in Pingendo Bootstrap. What is it for? Essentially to create web pages and websites using the Bootstrap framework. Now, it doesn't matter if you know how to use uh, Bootstrap or if you have used it before, I'm going to show you an easy way to put your web page right now in the next minute. And I apologize for my previous video, the sound was really bad. So I'm, doing, I'm going to go ahead and create this new tutorial. So when you download Pingendo, what you want to do is create a new page. So you can just click here and it will give you the option right out of the box to create a default page or a landing page. So let's just go and choose this initial template that comes with Pingendo. So you have an idea of how you can edit the components. As you can tell, everything shows up on this canvas. You will notice if you scroll over the elements how you get this blue outline around each box. By putting your mouse on the edge of these boxes, you can actually readjust columns and change the width of each one. But to make this more interesting, I'm going to create a new blank page, so we do this from scratch. So to get it started, the first thing we want to do is build the grid, and then we are going to actually inject the content. There are different methods to this. What I use is I go to the Structor section, and I start appending different sections, which will contain the preset column arrangement. So let's say you put this here, just drag it down here. There you go, you have two columns here, four columns. Maybe you want to have this offset column right here. Uh, let me just delete. Make sure you actually stack these sections as opposed to having them within the columns. There you go. So we have this very simple layout. Now we can make this more interesting. If we go to components, we can go to navigation. Uh, we can create a nav bar right here. We're going to learn later, or if you study bootstrap, you will be able to find ways to stylize all these components. But what we want to do here is quickly start adding some placeholders. So there is an image here. I want to have a headline and a paragraph. So I will go heading, paragraph, there you go. Okay, paragraph here. There you go. Uh, what if I want to have a button? I will go here, button, and I will stick it just underneath this paragraph. Now, when you click on each one of the components, you're going to have some properties right in this column. So for instance, you can do things such as align the text the way you want. Justified, center, left align. You can also change the hierarchy of your heading by assigning heading one, heading two, heading three. Let's go to this column. Let's just use another component that I really like. It's called the thumbnail. So the thumbnail is essentially one image, one heading, one paragraph. So we can fill this up with thumbnails. The interesting thing about Pingendo is as you drag and drop components, the bootstrap, the bootstrap framework is going to show up 
in the code. It means you can make changes either from the code or you can make changes from the visual editor. Another really good feature that I like is the drag and drop video, responsive video feature, which will embed the YouTube player and in the code you can change the URL of your, of your uh, video. You can also use this other component called the media list, which will create small image thumbnails besides a heading and a paragraph. So as you can tell, there is already a skeleton. All you have to do here from now is fill this up with images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one web page that, I, that I've been working on. And it is to, to promote one training book. So this is the template. Basically, as you can tell, this was the grid that I created using the method that I just showed you before, just doing some drag and drops and using components. Very decent landing page. I'm going to save this. And I'm going to click this button which will essentially show you the folder where your file lives. And when you double click this, this file that you created, then we will have a better view of how this page looks. So the one of the greatest advantages of Fingendo is that because it works with the bootstrap framework it gives you responsive design right out of the box so if I'm looking at this website in a phone I get a nicely laid out site that adjusts and basically presents itself in the best layout for that particular device now all I need to do from here is just take all the assets from my website upload it into my server in this case, I'm using FileZilla, and I'm using a folder called Explosive Training. So I'm going to go to this folder. I basically have to go and drag and drop my files. Remember, the key file that we are editing here is the index.html. Okay, now that is up, what we can do is go to your browser, go to whatever URL you used or the directory that you created in your server and let's preview this live right away. There you go. Okay, let it load. Sorry, I have like 10 programs open here, so it loads a little bit slower, but this is a very lightweight page, by the way. So who can use Fingendo and why? Well, essentially, if you are making simple landing pages that are, that are promoting a product or a service with a simple call to action, this is the perfect program. Uh, I will extremely recommend you to use, start using a bootstrap template, a simple template that is already uh, predefined there are many many templates out there some of them are expensive some of, some of them cheaper i would recommend you to just get this one the one that i'm showing you right here on the on this video you can download this template essential lander from the comment section of this video so i hope you learn uh, a little bit more about pingendo you can use the template you can play around and you can make your own landing pages in matters of minutes. Thank you very much. This is David, an Pingendo Bootstrap web production tutorial.